Hello and welcome back. And the Rover, my Land Rover series two and a quarter diesel seems to be spitting and sputtering and not firing on all four cylinders. So when I first got it running, I cleaned up the nozzles on here, cleaned these all, took them all apart, and then I took them to uh, a local diesel mechanic. Yeah, well, diesel shop that rebuilds pumps and everything. They rebuilt my pump, and they set the pot pressure of these. But we're going to take a look at this, at, look at the pot pressure of these and adjust them. And, and put some new nozzles in. And I got a tool, a fancy tool or whatever, to try it out. I never used it before, so we'll see how this works out. So, looking at the nozzles themselves here. You can see these are nice and clean, nice and clean. And this one is a little bit dirty, but it's it's still pretty clean. But this one, you can see is completely black. And I don't think this one was firing the whole way. And this was number four piston or whatever, number four in the back. It was not, I don't think this one was firing the whole way. And these two were definitely firing pretty good because they're nice and clean. And the tips are nice and just dirty around the, the, the front there, which is fine. But this one, I think, was getting so dirty and all backed up with everything. So, so we're going to take... Actually, I'm going to set these up on the machine. And uh, we'll see if we can get any pressure to pop out of them. So here's our tool. I went ahead and I bolted it right to the workbench. It's no problem, just drill holes in there and uh, put some bolts in. So here's our fancy our fancy instructions here, which is just, basically looks like a photocopy thing. So, and I bought this off of eBay or Amazon, I don't know which one, but it was roughly about $90, $80 to $90 US for the tool. But when I took and got the injectors tested, they were like $8 each to get done, to get set, and I can never change it again. So now with this tool, I'll be able to fix it and check the pressure on it and do anything else with it. So what it came with, it was the tool here, which is really large. If you think about the size of it itself alone, it's pretty big. So it came with a 14 millimeter and a 12 millimeter fitting on the end. Then it came with another one that's a 14 millimeter, 14 millimeter. Little cap thing there. And extra O-rings for inside here, I guess, for something. So I had to go siphon some diesel off out of the old Rover. So I'm going to fill this up here. Okay, put our lid on, and let's see if we can get some fluid to come out. There, it feels like some pressure's building up. There we go. There, so now the pump is bled. So let's put an injector on there. We'll put one of these on there that seemed like it was good. Where the nozzle end is nice and clean. Get a 17 millimeter. Just kind of snug it on there a little bit. I'm going to put it inside the jar. Now, let me go look up and see what the spec's supposed to be. Okay, so the, the pressure needs to be at 135 atmospheres, which equals to about 1986 or 85 uh, PSI. So we want to get up to 2,000 on the gauge right here. So I already got it working already, which is pretty cool how it works. But uh, you make sure you snug these up good because this started leaking here or whatever. So, and this here, you could if you crank this handle in, it it bypasses the gauge altogether, 
and then you can just spray it out of there but if you keep it loose and then it'll come up and hit to the gauge or whatever so here we are we're going to go up almost 2,000 1,500 there's 2,000 That's pretty cool how it atomizes like that. So that one's actually working pretty good. I'll get you a closer shot of it here in a second, but I think that's pretty cool. Just to, how, to see how it actually works. See if the spray looks good. The pattern looks to be, you can see how it's just atomizing really good. You can see it coming out of there. It's actually coming out as pretty uh smoky smoke or whatever so it's spraying and it's spraying back like this just the way in uh in uh in your repair manual sh shows you how it's coming out so let's do a closer look at this or whatever i'll show you it atomizing so that one looks pretty good though just in itself So when I take it up, I'll show you here a little closer at the gauge too. So I bring it up, you want to be at like a 2000. So here we are, you'll hear it. Hear it spraying? So this injector is working pretty good. And then what you want to do is you want to take it up and kind of hold it before you hit the pot pressure so we're about there and see if there's anything leaking out and I don't see anything leaking so that valve is pretty good on this one so I'm gonna go in uh, check out the other ones I'm gonna hook these guys up and we'll see if this one goes maybe I'll videotape that one or whatever we'll see that one be right back okay so I tested all four of them and they all seem to pop pretty good even this one it's all gunked up oh maybe there's something up with that piston i don't know what i'm gonna have to investigate that more but i'm gonna go ahead and clean them up and replace all the nozzles i got uh brit part ones which is okay i guess but there's the part number for you of the new nozzles that i'm going to be putting on and they look to be about the same but we'll take a look and take a closer look here but the only thing i did see about these two they were um actually popping at the notch up above the 2000 mark so they're a little bit higher than the other ones were like right on 2000 so maybe that has something to do with it not running great or whatever the truck but i'm gonna hopefully this uh relieves some problems here but let's start taking these apart and i'll show you how to take them apart okay so here's our nozzle. We're gonna put just put it in a vise to hold it in place while uh, you take it apart here. Just to snug it in place to hold it so I don't have to hold it. I got a 26 millimeter socket and a wrench. Take the top off here. Okay, I had a hard time getting that cap off. So I used a wrench and got that off of there. Here's the top piece. It's gonna be our cover. And we got a copper ring. Then we need an Allen wrench to take that off. Go using a four millimeter Allen wrench. And this also is how you set your, your pot pressure with this, but we'll say that, take a look at that closer later. Okay, so we got our adjuster here. Here's our spring that holds the load. And take this out. Here's our pin. The 
the pin that holds the pressure against uh, the nozzle. So now we'll take the bottom piece off. That's a 19 millimeter that takes that off. You put that back in here to hold it tight. I did see somebody online whenever I was watching another video. There's other videos of people doing this too, so you can always watch those ones too. The guy said to always take the top cap off first. There you go, that wrench fits in there better. I always take the cap piece off first so the pressure pushing on this doesn't snap those rings inside the... You'll see them here. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Boy, that's pretty tight. Snap um, these little pieces here. You'll see here in a sec. Snap these little pins that are sitting right here. So here's our nozzle. This is the dirty one. You can still see it slides smooth in there. And it didn't leak, so it should be okay. And this one actually says Made in England on it. You can see it at all. So that, that's pretty good. So I'm probably just going to save these as extras, backups. Okay, so I'm going to move the camera over to the workbench. I have them all taken apart here. And I noticed there was a couple little shavings inside and metal shavings. So I wonder if one of that might be clogged. It was clogging the nozzle or something like that. But anyways. So I got them all taken apart here on the, on the workbench. Then I got one set up here just so uh, for uh, visual representation so people can see what it is. I'll probably make this into two videos. One the long video showing the, the pump and everything and then just the nozzle. So anyways... Because a lot of people, some people ask, I've seen them on forums and groups on Facebook, that should I buy whole new nozzles or should I buy, uh, I mean a whole new injector or should I just buy the nozzles? So I suggest, I would always suggest just to buy the nozzle because it'll be a lot cheaper. Like the nozzle was probably like $10, but if you go to buy this whole injector, you're looking at like $100 to $200 for one just a whole new injector. So... If you break it apart, take it apart, put yourself a new injector in here and take it to a diesel shop and have them do the, the pump to set your, to set your um, pop pressure so it pops open. And that was only like $8 in a local shop. So it's very cheap to do. So anyways, let's go through the parts. So here's the main body here. This is where your diesel comes in from your pump. So at the top you have your cap. It kind of covers up the top piece here, all these pieces together. Then you have your adjuster that adjusts the spring, and the spring sits on top of the plunger. And the plunger comes down, and it sits on top of the pin of the injector. The injector sits inside of these two pins here, just kind of locating pins. Then this twist is into here to hold the injector in place. Then this is the one that goes, this goes inside your head and then this part here seals against with the copper washer to your head. So that's all there is in these parts. So if you take this apart with the normal tools, normal tool here, normal tool here, take it apart, clean it all up with some carburetor cleaner or brake clean or lacquer thinner or whatever you want to do to clean this up real nice and clean. And then put it all together with a new nozzle, take it to a diesel shop and get it done. Get it and they'll uh, adjust the pressure for you. So anyways... So here's all the basic pieces and parts of an injector. So next thing is I'm going to take, just like I just said, I'm going to take some brake clean here and uh, clean up all the pieces and parts and start putting them together and then put the no new nozzles in from over there. We'll take a look at them too. I have all, all the other three put together. They're cleaned with uh, brake clean and everything. So I'm going to show how to put together one, okay? So here's our body, and here are the, the nozzle end goes on here. You can see these two dowels. They're actually dowels, so whenever you're cleaning these, these ones won't come out, but you never know. They might slide out, so be careful when you're doing that. So, okay, so you got your body, so let's get our nozzle. 
Get a a knife here to open it up. Take it out of the bag. And look, it's nice it wrapped in some nice paper. Isn't that fancy? <laughs> so then here's your new nozzle. And what I did is I what I do is I'll move it a little bit, see if it's smooth, see if there's anything catching it or anything like that. And you can see the little end, if you can. The little thing moves in and out there a little bit. So I just moved a little, each of them a little bit here and over to see if they go. You got your dowels here, and you see there's two bigger holes right there. Those line right up with the dowel, and the pin goes into the hole. And there's your nozzle is on right there. And that your center pin should stay in there. It shouldn't fall out. So then you got your cap. This piece here. Take that. Twist that right down. Then you nip that off. Nip it tight with a 19 millimeter. Okay, get yourself a vise. See how you turn it and it stops it from turning just to keep it in place. Take your wrench. Put it on there, twist it, just kind of snug it on. Snug that cap on, you don't need to crank it down like crazy. Just snug it, you can see there. Snugged it on, nipped it. Okay. Okay, tighten that up so now your nozzle end is done. This end, now you're gonna come up to the top part. This piece is your plunger that holds on to that piece that we were just slide back and forth. It drops into the hole. There isn't really any place for it to go besides right on top of the, the pin there. So that sits on top of there. Your spring goes right on top of there. And it, again, it just sits right on top of there. It just balances itself. Then you got your adjuster, goes right on top. And this holds everything in place. Tighten it down by fingers and just snug it on a little bit. Because we're now we're going to adjust this with our tool or whatever. So then there, and then you just leave the cap off, but I'll show you all the rest of the way. You put your copper washer on, and this is your final piece on top after you set the, the pop pressure. Put that on, and there's your whole new injector right there. You got your nice new, brand new nozzle, and everything's put together. And if you wanted to, you could take this to, uh, like I said before, take it to a, a diesel shop, and they'll set the pressure for you. They'll take the cap off. And adjust this for you and adjust your pressure and you'll be all set to go throw them back in your truck and you're ready to roll so everyone else that's going to watch the full video we're going to now set these up on the machine and we'll do some uh, pop pressure on here okay so here's our first one and here it is written down it's uh, 135 atmospheres equals 1984 PSI or 13.6 uh, metapascals or whatever. I think that's what that is. <laughs> so what we want to be is just at 2,000, just probably just a smidge below 2,000, I would imagine PSI would be okay. And all the ones that whenever we were doing it before were like right at 1,000 or they're up at uh, each red notch is 100. And it was either a 2,000 or 2,100 every time. So let's give it a try and see what happens. So I snug that on with a 17 millimeter is the size it's on here. Then I got a four, four millimeter Allen wrench to adjust the top here. So let's see. Uh, what I've seen online is they want you to flush the, it out first with a few sprays. Here it builds up some pressure. Well, I think that's that seems to be spraying a lot more, a lot more fluid than before, than the old nozzles. So maybe there's something up with that. So, anyways, so which we don't know until I go and start it. So we'll see. <laughs> so we're going to we're about 1500 right now, as you can see on the gauge. So let's see, we'll give this about a half turn. Let's see what happens. Uh, 
Okay, that was about 2100. We'll go up a little higher, give it a nice good, good spray out. Make sure there's nothing in there. Then we'll take it down. Whoo, you can see the smoke kind of, can, not the smoke, but the atomizing of the fuel. So it's doing its job pretty good. I think these nozzles are gonna work pretty nice. Okay, let's take it up to pressure. There, see, we're about 2200 right now. Let's loosen it up some more. And we're popping right at 2000. So then another test of the nozzle to make sure it's not leaking is you pressure it up a little bit, but you don't take it all the way up to 2000 and see if there's anything leaking. And right at 2000, it pops open. So I think that's all set. So that one's done. So let's, uh, I won't bore you with all the other three. So I'm gonna show, you saw how that goes. So I'm gonna take this off. So this one's now set. You can see it again. I'm sorry, but this is just nerdy stuff. I like seeing things like that. That's just fun. So <laughs> so we're just below 2000. So I think we're, go we're good. This one's all set. So. Let's go and finish all the rest of these up. So I got all the injectors now installed and they're really, they're working pretty good now. I just have other issues that I needed to work on, which was the timing of the pump, which you'll see in future videos. But the injectors are now in and they're working and they're all, I think they're all firing in a good order. So I'm very happy with the, with the new nozzles and everything. So thank you if you made it to the end of the video and I really appreciate it. So if somebody in America really needs their pot pressure set and they can't find a shop local for them, or even if you're in the UK, if you really want to spend the money to ship them to me, but I'll set the pot pressure for you and I'll change the nozzle and clean it for you too, if you want to. So for your loyal listeners and loyal watchers, I'll do it for a nominal fee. I, I don't need to make a, be a millionaire here. So if you have them, send them to me, send me an email and we can talk about it. But thank you very much. Like, subscribe, and follow along to the next video.